Hi guys, my name is Molly Hahn. I suffer from aggressive position and trusted disorder. Um, so, my family history related to my psychological problems. Well, I cannot, I can say it started from my grandfather, who was a German soldier in World War II. Um, after the war, he was diagnosed with um, post-trauma disorder. Um, my grandmother and my mother suffered a lot and not having a father at home. So my mom worked, my mom and grandma worked in a factory at a young age, long hours. Um, basically they were in poverty because of my grandfather who did not not came back every, came back to reality after the war. Um, so he fell in depression. I think he passed away when he was like uh, maybe on around his fifties. He passed away due to um, a stroke, I believe. So after that, my mom migrated to the United States where she met my dad. Um, ex her experiences did not get better. My dad was an alcoholic. Um, he was abusive to a mother and myself. He um, drank constantly, uh, put pressure on my mom. Basically, my mom had all the shoulder weight had the weight on her shoulders of maintaining a house, maintaining a household, basically by herself. She did not count with my dad. Um, she worked in a factory here in um, New York. She worked really long hours and I saw that. I saw how my mom and suffered, suffered in intensively because of because of us, she wanted to give us a better future and everything, and um, that really did affect me because I would think, sometimes I would think about how I could hurt my dad, how the pressure would, how I would feel pleasure thinking that I will hurt my dad would eliminate him and my mom could continue being happy and that's how I saw myself. And I believe that's first, the first memories of me having those intrusive thoughts of harming people. Um, then after that, my dad passed away uh, from alcohol intoxication. Um, I don't, it's hard. It really is hard. Um, so, I, like I said, I first noticed when that I was different to other people when those thoughts of me thinking of harming my dad would be, be the solution for my family problems. And um, my dad was never oh, in my life. So I really didn't have feelings for him and he was in my life so I, eliminating him would be perfect and I wouldn't care. I saw that through Mel a lot. I see that um, I could harm me having the sensation of harming a person would be okay. Um, not really caring. So my disorder impact my thoughts and actions and feelings. So I would be walking on the sidewalk, walking, and I would see a guy or an older man, and I would think, I would imagine how it would feel to slide his throat, stab him. Like how would it feel? Like 
what will be the feel of hurting, of really hurting someone, not just mentally or by words, by physical stabbing and seeing the blood draw up. I think I would enjoy that, but I know I would never do it. It's just the thought. That's when my intrusive thoughts kick in. And um, <laughs> I'm feeling of my diagnosis. I know it's not right. I know it's not, it's not ethical <laughs> of me wanting to harm a person. But it's just, it's in my head. It's in my head. But I want to do it. I really do want to do it. Um, I do take medications. I, I take medications. Uh, the medications I th I take. Um, well, not medicate. I don't take medications, but I go to therapy. Um, so that's my medication. Will be going into therapy and talking to my therapist about. I mean, I've gotten better. I have. I um, I don't think as often. And if I do think, I can control it and be like, kind of like washing it away, like my therapist said. Think about something else, and it's hard. Cause I'm thinking. I'm trying to think something else, and it's just like, okay, I'm thinking and I'm thinking and I'm thinking, and, just, and then, but I'll get there. I'll eventually do. We'll get there. And well, um. That wraps up my um my interview for um my disorder. Thank you.